Last week on XPW TV, company owner Rob Black was removed from power by the new XPW CEO and Black's former best friend Lazy as mandated by the New York group of investors. They cited Black allowing his wife Lizzie Borden to run the company, his failure to keep Chris Candido and Shane Douglas, and his inability to secure a deal with Sabu. Later in the night, Chris Candido was defending the XPW championship belt against Shane Douglas when Lazy appeared at ringside and let the two combatants know that he had a surprise for the both of them. Sabu entered himself into the match and almost became XPW World Heavyweight Champion. But with the aid of Shane Douglas, Candido retained the strap. Later that evening, XPW TV caught up with Rob Black in the back of the sports arena. Yeah, I knew it wasn't in this contract. I knew it. Yeah, they moved too soon. Get yeah. Uh, I don't know. No, thank you. No, I know. Okay, well, thank you. Ex exactly. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Well, hey, get the f*** out! Welcome, fans, to another week of XPW TV. I'm Chris Kloss here with Larry Rivera, and tonight I'm going to crack down XPW owner Rob Black and get his comments on this apparent power struggle that's going on here at XPW. You know what, Chris Kloss? I'm going to tell everyone that this guy, Lousy, Lacy, Stanley Lacy. Lacy, he's running around with no respect, running around and all over the place. No respect for the press, the former president, the man who built. The SPW, the man who made SPW, what it is today. Well, before we get to that, first, we're going to see the real deal Damien Steele go one-on-one -on -one with, I was going to ask you, Larry, I was, I was kind of practicing in the back. He's going to be going against Carrito Montana. Oh, man, you need, you need a little more practice. Keep going. Continue. We're also going to see Tool take on Mr. 80's Dynamite D and in our main event. White trash Johnny Webb goes one on one in the confines of a steel cage against the Messiah. You know what, man? But right now, we're going to go to the tape. But what I was talking about earlier, this guy, Lacey, it's no good, man. Let's go to the tape. Josh Lazy gains stardom as bassist for the band Danzig. <laughs> His rock star road made him cross paths with XPW owner Rob Black, with whom he became best of friends, even being asked to be Rob's best man at his wedding. Dave, doesn't he look so nice? Yeah, I'm out of here. 
can't believe you guys got me this damn thing. <laughs> Shoot him, he never wears anything like this. Only for me, because I'm a princess. Uh, it, it is true. Only for you and Rob. Thank I'd never you. do this for anybody. And he's so sweet. Mark this down. If I ever get married, no tuxes. Oh, you have to be traditional. The whole, no, I don't do the tux and tie thing. Thank Only you for so you. much, though. You look Thank fabulous. You. Congratulations. I love you. Need anything? No, I'm okay. I'm going to go talk to you about. Okay, thanks. Get that camera out of here. <laughs> look at you, man. What's the matter with you? It's repugnant. Getting it, getting it out before. <laughs> yeah, you get married. <laughs> get married. And you're and getting, you're getting all this. Your nose. You're getting all this. It's horrible. It's horrible. I can't believe I'm doing this. Neither can I. <laughs> uh, sure you want to do this? Yeah. I look good. Kinda. Congratulations. <laughs> I guess. Just like that. Hey, I can't push my dog. Hey, together. Go ahead. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day. Kiss me. All right, now. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. I'll show this to your face. Don't mess up. In my mouth. But it's not my white, it's not my white cake. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Black, for giving me the opportunity to, uh, to commentate for you. Congratulations, Rob. Been friends for years, best friends. It was an honor to be the best man at your wedding. I love you. I wish the best for you and Janet. If you ever need anything, anything, day or night, you know, I'm always here for you, brother. Always. I love love you both. Congratulations. What a show. Congratulations, Mr. Black and Janet. <laughs> you blew it. You blew it. Thank you. I love you, brother. Thank you for being here. I love you, too. No problem. Just don't ever... Be married because I'm not doing the best man. <laughs> Six months later, XPW had exploded in inner office turmoil, led to Shane Douglas turning on Black and Borden. friend rushed the ring, Black's heart was broken as Lazy turned his back on Black 2. I had you signing all those papers, Barry Mendelson, the financial backer and the guys in New York, we had you sign the company over to me. I'm running the show now. Lazy's second move in his hostile takeover would have extreme repercussion. Jay, I got a surprise for you. As Lazy brought Sabu to XPW. Now you can get your official XPW merchandise. T-shirts of your favorite wrestlers like Supreme, The Westsiders, White Trash Johnny Webb, and Homeless Jimmy. Get photos, our video of Hardcore Conception, and the lovely Christy Miss. Programs, hats, and more. Official XPW merchandise is available at all XPW live events or by logging on to our website at xpwrestling.com. Get your official XPW merchandise today. Visit. XPW's official website at www.xpwrestling.com or call the XPW hotline at 818-779-6475. Do you think you have what it takes to become a pro wrestler? Then check out The Asylum, the official pro wrestling training school of XPW. 
For more information, call 818-779-6479 or log on to www.xpwrestling.com. Friday night, May the 26th, XPW returns to the LA Sports Arena as XPW presents D-Day. Sabu will defend the XPW world title and Rob Black reveals his plan to regain control of XPW. Tickets are available now at all Ticketmaster locations. Plus, XPW will be on the road in Bakersfield on Saturday the 27th at 8 p.m. and Sunday the 28th in Ventura at 5 p.m. For tickets and information, call 818-779-6475. See the X-Girls on the web at xpleasures.com. Lizzie Borden, Christy Miss, Jessica Darlin, and more. See the X-Girls like you've never seen them before at www.xpleasures.com. Since XPW's inception, the real deal Damian Steele stood as one of the most dominant forces here in the company, laying claim as being the only two-time XPW champ. Steele was riding atop XPW until Chris Candido ended his title reign this past February. Hey, you know what? There's another guy who never got a title shot, but he's beating everybody, man. His name is Carlito Montana, another fellow Cubano, man, or as they say down in Miami Beach. A Kuwiche, brother. This guy beat everybody XPW put in front of him, but he never got the title shot. So he decided he's going to challenge the real deal in person, man. Because he decided if he beat this guy, the two-time former champion, he would get a shot, finally, at the goal. So the match was set for the L.A. Sports Arena. The real deal. Making his way down to the ring to face Carlito Montana. Oh, look at that shot! Right to the face from Carlito! Right, that was a kick right to the face. He was saying to David Steele, Welcome to Carlito Montana. And Carlito whips Steele into the turnbuckle, crashing into the other side. Carlito Montana, man. This guy is my homeboy, a fellow Kuwiche, bro. This guy is letting him know that he is ready for a shot at the XPW heavyweight title. He's sick and tired of getting rid of all the XPW opponents that get put in front of him. He is ready, man. Speaking of the XPW world title, former two-time champ. Oh, look at that. Former two-time champ. The real deal, Damien Steele in the ring now with Carlito Montana. How did that sound? Chico, you still need practice. Carlito Montana. That sounded pretty good. Look at that shot. Elbow right to the head of Carlito. Going for the pin now. Quick cover two. No, two count. Carlito Montana spending a lot of time training the gym. And he works particularly hard in the ring. And look at that lightning fast elbow drop. Another one from Damien Steele on to Carlito. Go for the pin. Two. Carlito gets the shoulder up. Referee Patrick Hernandez singling for the two count. That's how I was saying, Chris Cross. Carlito Montana is very dedicated. Very dedicated. He spent a lot of time in the gym. Spent a lot of time learning, watching footage from Japan, from Mexico, all over the world. I think I got what you said. But wait a minute. Close line ducked underneath. Steel now. And Carlito from behind Steel. Close line over the top rope and out onto the concrete floor here at the LA Sports Arena. Carlito taking a nice landing face first on the concrete floor. And there he is, Carlito. Just barely wobbling, walking it. Oh, wait a minute, Steel launching over the top rope onto Carlito. That was beautiful, man. That was a beautiful move. I have to give it to Damian Steele on that one. Listen to the punches, man. The sound of hand hitting face. There is nothing like it, brother. Damian Steele now in control of this match. But Carlito Montana still on the concrete floor. Picks him up now. Oh, wait, wait a minute. 
Reversal now. Steele into the security railing. Tumbling over onto the front row seat. Look that Steele landing almost into the security guard there. He wants no part of the wrestling match. Carlito landing more punches to the head of Damian Steele. Very hard punches. And now Steele retaliating on his away minute kick. Steele caught it. And it looks like Carlito, oh, back right into that ring post. Mansa ringside captivated by the back and forth intensity both that men, is going on in this match. Both men now back into the ring. Carlito going for the cover now. Hernandez down for the count, two only. Referee Patrick Hernandez getting a workout. And look at this guy. Look at this guy wearing the t-shirt from the, the Dynamite Beauty, man. These, these XPW fans, they really showed their support. And now, wait a minute, look at this now. Carlito Montana, he's got him. He's got it. Wait a minute. Oh, drives Damien Steele now into the match. Beautiful pump handle slam, Chico. He's going up to the top now. Wait, this is the moonsault. Steele. He's barely getting out of the way. Carlito holding his lower abdominal section. Wrestling fan, as you can see, both men tired. Both men trying to get to the feet. And Damien Steele gets up there delivering the kicks, man. And you can hear those kicks, the impact. Right square to the back. Snap over, snap up. Oh, look at that. Kick right to the back. What impact. I can guarantee you. Ooh. I can guarantee you these two guys are not going to feel good in the morning, bro. You can hear those kicks. Even now, Steele ran his head into the second turnbuckle. Going after Carlito again. Whipped him into the other side. Wait a minute. Oh, handspring eye gouge again. What was that, man? Is this three stories? of professional wrestling. That's Damien Steele for you. The real deal, former two-time XPW World Heavyweight Champion. I didn't know they let comedians in the wrestling. Hold over now, wait a minute. Steele now, going to, the, going to the second rope now. Wales away with fists to the head as the crowd counts on. crowd needs to, to get some lessons in mathematics. Oh, look at that. Carlito retaliating with the clothesline now. Steals down, grabbing his back. But wait a minute. Carlito rolls him over for the pin. Two. Oh. Was that two or was that three? That was close, Larry. That was very close. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you know that Carlito Montana in this very match is proving to the entire world that he's capable of going for a match for the XPW heavyweight title. I cannot see how anybody can refuse it. All right, Damien Steele now, it's got Carlito Hood. Wait a minute, going for it up. Oh, look at that, overhead, belly to belly suplex. Damien going for the pin, two, two count again. That was a very close call for Carlito Montana. Both men using extraordinary amount of energy in this match. Well, I gotta agree with you there, Rivera, on the point of Carlito Montana. Yeah, he's putting on a hell of a match, but he's still gotta get by the real deal tonight. I guarantee you, my boy, my main man, my main man, Carlito Montana will be there. But Carlito just barely picking out of another one there, as referee Hernandez with a two count across the ropes now. Never underestimate the power of the Cubanazo, bro. Wait a minute. Carlito now with the side head. Wait, what's he doing? Steel reverses. Reverse DDT. Carlito goes down for the cover. This could be a two for no. What I tell you, look at that. Carlito is taking every move and throwing it back right in his face. And look at that. Jake Wallace, fellow hierarchy member down at the ringside area. What the hell is he doing here? This is a one-on-one -on -one match between Steel and Carlito. Look at that, the Carlitos way. Carlitos way, beautiful move, man. It's all over. It's all over now. One, two, three. Four for the cover now. Carlito, this is it. It's over. Jake Wallace, he just pulled out referee Hernandez. Hey, what's the matter here, man? This, this should be disqualification. Automatically disqualification. Why is Hernandez not calling for the bell? This match should be over. Carlito should have his hand in the air, man. What's going on here? Well, you know the referee is a little more lenient here in XPW, but I gotta agree, that is ridiculous. Carlito had this match won, damn it. What the hell is this? This isn't even wrestling. This Carlito now is getting his revenge, man. He's bringing the tail into the ring. 
and he's and he's dying to play now, bro. He's bringing this table into the ring. Look at the steel down already, though. What more punishment can he deliver on to the real deal? Carlito now is getting ready to, to inflict the ultimate punishment. Look at that. Steel now. Perched on that. And look at, look at this. Carlito going upstairs, it looks like. As Damien Steel laid out flat on that table. He's having a little Wait a minute, Steel's getting up now. Oh, look at that groin shot. The injuries sustained by Carlito did not allow him to climb the rope as fast as he would like allowing Steele the advantage right now. And this guy Lawless coming to ringside, saving Steele this match, but Steele go for Superplex! Right through the table, ladies and gentlemen. Superplex onto the table! Hernandez going for the three count! Yes, it's over! You ask me, this is robbery. This is a robbery. The match should end when the Lawless pulled the referee out of the ring, that should have been it. I cannot understand. What is this all about? Larry, I gotta agree with you on this one for sure. I know this is one of your favorites, Carlito Montana. But look at this. The hierarchy strikes again. And they strike here in LA. And what a victory that was for the real deal. Hey, who's gonna come out and help Carlito, man? He's there in the middle of the ring. Look at this, Hernandez and the referee is not even going anywhere. Well, sit down, Larry. Wait, wait, we got other people to do that. And just keep calm down. I'm getting ready to go down there right now myself to help him out, man. And look at this, Lawless trying to help the beaten Damian Steele to his feet. The former two-time XPW World Heavyweight Champion is victorious. I'm telling you, it's not over. You have not heard the end of Carlito Montana. And ladies, Viva Cuba. and ladies and gentlemen, still to come, we're going to see Mr. 80's Dynamite D going against the man who's going to make his debut, Tool, and in our main event, White Trash Johnny Webb goes one-on-one -on -one with the Messiah in a steel cage. And I'm going to try to interview Rob Black, whether he likes it or not. Stay tuned, wrestling fans. You interrupting me? That's all right. I got a little something to tell the XPW. Everyone you've thrown at me, I've beaten. Everyone. Damien Steele, I had your ass. Up in the Carlitos way. And Jake Lawless, you had to stick your big fat nose in my business. A little bit more over here, baby. It's all right. Because the next time I see either one of you guys in the ring, in the locker room, in the parking lot, doesn't matter. I'm going to stomp your ass. It's not the XPW way. It sure the hell ain't Damien Steele's way. That's Carlitos' way. Now leave me. A little harder, baby. Now you can get your official XPW merchandise. T-shirts of your favorite wrestlers like Supreme, The Westsiders, White Trash Johnny Webb, and Homeless Jimmy. Get photos, our video of Hardcore Conception, and the lovely Christy Miss. Programs, hats, and more. Official XPW merchandise is available at all XPW live events or by logging on to our website at xpwrestling.com. Get your official XPW merchandise today. Visit XPW's official website at www.xpwrestling.com or call the XPW hotline at 818-779-6475. Do you think you have what it takes to become a pro wrestler? Then check out The Asylum, the official pro wrestling training school of XPW. For more information, call 818-779-6479 or log on to www.xpwrestling.com.
Friday night, May the 26th, XPW returns to the LA Sports Arena as XPW presents D-Day. Sabu will defend the XPW world title and Rob Black reveals his plan to regain control of XPW. Tickets are available now at all Ticketmaster locations plus XPW will be on the road in Bakersfield on Saturday the 27th at 8 p.m. and Sunday the 28th in Ventura at 5 p.m. For tickets and information, call 818-779-6475. See the X-Girls on the web at xpleasures.com. Lizzie Borden, Christy Miss, Jessica Darlin, and more. See the X-Girls like you've never seen them before at www.xpleasures.com. Still to come tonight, fans, I'm going to track down Rob Black and find out who he was on the phone with, the cell phone, last week when we went off the air. And when you find him, man, you tell him that me, Larry Rivera, is standing firm against this guy, Lacey, a backstabber, man. Te voy a decir, este tipo es un descarado. No le importa nada en la vida. Larry, Larry, what would you do? Calm, calm down. Okay, calm okay, down. okay, 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 vamos, bro, let's go. Still to come in our main event, White Trash Johnny Webb goes one-on-one -on -one with the Messiah in a steel cage. But right now, we're going to take a look at the debut of the monster who now makes his home in XPW, Tool. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Cross and Larry Rivera here back at the LA Sports Arena for this edition of XPW TV. And listen to that music, Larry. It's a great night here at the Sport Arena. And if you listen close, that should be a very familiar tune. You know what that is? It's Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> Look at that, Mr. 80s. He's got he's got the Dynamania's running wild. What is that? Hey, you know what, Chris Cross? You may laugh. You may sit there and laugh. The audience, the TV audience may sit there and laugh, but I'm going to tell you, I, for one, am proud to see that finally we might get to see some professional wrestling. This guy's here great. Here in the XP Dome. Look at that. He ripped his shirt. He threw it. Oh, man. This is too much. This is what the crowd likes. You may laugh, man. The crowd likes this. Look at this. Entertainment. Oh, yeah. Entertainment, and the crowd knows that in a little bit they are going to see moves, pure professional wrestling moves, not this garbage violence with the bar wire, with the, the light bulbs. That's no wrestling. Well, look at this. Look at the response he's getting from these fans. This is unbelievable. Look at oh, that muscle, man. Look at that muscle. You see, definition. You know, I will agree. Jet. Larry, I will agree with you. Say what you want to about Dynamite D. This guy's a hell of a technical wrestler, and he's got the mic. Who you know something? LA Sports Arena. It's been a long time, brother, since I've been in this arena. But I know no offense to the Lucha Libre and the hardcore wrestlers here in XPW, but I'm Mr. A's Dynamite D, and I'm the world's greatest wrestler. Well, he's a good wrestler, that's for sure. And in order to win here, you gotta do three things. You gotta work out. You gotta pray. And you gotta take your supplements. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? We can pray and then. I heard what he's saying, man. I heard what he's saying, man. But let me tell you, I, I cannot express it enough. What's this music coming on now, man? Well, I, you know what? We're scheduled to see right now the debut of Tool. This guy, we know nothing about him. He's making his first appearance here tonight at the LA Sports Arena. What kind of what kind of a name is that for a wrestler? That's what I've been informed. Tool. Tool. 
tool, a recipe tool. That's what I got in the screwdriver in the, in the garage, man. Wait a minute, I don't know about that kind of tool. But look at this guy. Here he is. This is the guy they've been talking about tool. Look, this guy's a monster. This guy's massive. Look at him. Six foot seven, six foot eight. I don't even know. Three, four hundred pounds. This guy is Seven feet tall, over 300 pounds, and now he's making his way down the aisle here. Look at the size of this guy. Look at the mask. Look at the fans. Look at the fans. Are scared to put the fans, their hand up and shake the hand. They are scared. Intimidation is what this guy is all about. Intimidation inside and outside the ring. Well, right now, intimidation is the key word, but will Dynamite D be intimidated by this monster tool? And look how he just... Look at Dynamite! Is he, he, was that bulking up? You know, when I heard too much, match, when I heard this match was going to take place, I was asking what kind of drugs is Dynamite D smoking to be facing two in a match like this. Introducing first, from the old school, Mr. 80's Dynamite D. Hey, that's that guy Guido, right? Yeah, Guido, the Italian guy. The woman and his opponent, Cool. Looks like this Guido, this guy he himself is intimidated. Right, two. Right now, Guido stepping out of the ring, and three men remain. Mr. 80's Dynamite D, Tool, and referee Danny Ramirez. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the size of this guy. Can't get over it. To me, it appears that Tool only knows the power moves. But right now, Mr. 80's Dynamite D, say what you want about his entrances and everything. What a heck of a wrestler he is. Oh, look at that clothesline. D. Like I say, the power moves. This guy's huge. I bet you this, this guy can do a small package. Where did this guy come from? Now, whipping Dynamite D across the ropes. Wait a minute, duck underneath. Oh, he's got the wave going. And he, and he moved. Nothing. And now, oh my, look at this. This seven foot monster. Whoa. You know what? I am convinced that this guy knows Whoa. more. He, he has agility. Not only the power boost, but a yield. What power, and now Dynamite D goes line over the top rope, out onto the concrete floor here in LA. And look at that monster tool. Dynamite D, he did not land hard. He landed very hard, very hard in the concrete. Referee Danny Ramirez now. Checking on tool, and Dynamite D is starting to get back in there. Oh, look at that, he came in the hard way. Tool just pulled him with ease over that top rope. He was like a paper clip in a sling shot, man. Hey, what's he doing now? Look at this, he's dragging him like a rag dog. Flips him over. What's he have in mind now? He's going for the legs here. What is this? What is this, man? I've never seen this before. Oh! Close line! Tool just lifted Dynamite D up with ease. Jump right on that top row. The throat of Dynamite D right now, the throat is suffering a lot of pain. He's speeding up, possibly blood. And right now, Tool just in total control of this match. Whips Dynamite the elbow right to the face of Mr. 80s. That was beautiful, man. Feature perfect. Right now, Tool just hovering, hovering over Mr. 80's Dynamite D. Now whips him in again. D taking so much punishment in this match. Ah, oh, back body drop right on the side of his ribs. Went over two times, man, no one time. Two times, you see that? Unbelievable. Tool now again picking up D. Shot right to the head. Again, two left hands squarely caught D right in the face. And now wait a minute, from pillar to post, whipping him in. Tool follows up. Oh, jeez, that was too much. The, the size, the difference in the size is incredible. This guy too, I mean, he, he's a complete monster. And now it looks like he's going to This is another move. What is this? He looks like a power bomb, maybe? Or a pile driver for... Wait a minute, Tool now. He's got... Oh, whoa! Chico, que puesto, bro? That's got to be it. What the hell kind of move is that? Three, three count, it's over! And the winner of this match, Tool! You know what? I believe this is not the last we are going to see of either Tool or Dynamite D. Okay, wait a minute now. They're telling me something from, in, in the headphones from the control. His finishing move, Larry, the snuff bomb. 
We just saw the snuff bomb snuff delivered bomb. onto Mr. 80's Dynamite D. I have to make a mental note of that, the snuff bomb. But look, snuff as they're rolling out the Dynamite D, he's gradually gaining the consciousness back, shaking the go west off of the head. And look at this guy, too. Look at, look at all these fans in the, in the seats above him, elevated and cool still towers above him. Yeah, come here. Hey, Damien, what can I do for you? This is your office? That's right. Remind me to uh, give me my decorator's number before I go. Uh, I saw what happened in Sports Arena. And I gotta say, uh, well, first of all, congratulations. You see, I have been with this company since its very first show. And since I have been there, I've watched that prick, Rob Black, run this company straight into the ground. Now, I am the real deal, the draw of XPW, two-time heavyweight champion. Look at this flyer. You see me on this flyer anywhere? No. He's trying to bury me. They broke up the hierarchy. They fired my best friend. Then he gives the company to his wife. What is it? Is it like a, a, a mink stole or a ring? It's a friggin' company. He gives it to his wife? What does she know about wrestling? I mean, she knows the boys, if you know what I mean. But that's not wrestling. Okay, so I, I got a little proposition for you, and that's this. You help me get back on top where I belong. And I will bring that gold back to XPW, back to Los Angeles, back to my waist where it belongs. Not around the waist of some other company's cruiserweight champion. This is heavyweight gold. What do you say, pal? I've been watching you from the beginning. You're a great wrestler. You're a great worker. I don't agree with everything you've done. But lately, we've definitely been on the same page. Especially for our common hatred for that fat pussy wit bastard and his dime-a-dance wife. So, I'm willing to help you get back on top. But, the one thing you have to understand is that I'm running the show now. We're playing by my rules. Now, if you can understand that, we have an arrangement. Well, forget an arrangement and screw a franchise. You got yourself a real deal. All right. Cool. I'll see you at the arena. Yes, you will. By the way, Wednesday's Lobster Day. If you're not doing anything... Give me a call. Now you can get your official XPW merchandise. T-shirts of your favorite wrestlers like Supreme, The Westsiders, White Trash Johnny Webb, and Homeless Jimmy. Get photos, our video of Hardcore Conception, and the lovely Christy Mist. Programs, hats, and more. Official XPW merchandise is available at all XPW live events or by logging on to our website at xpwrestling.com. Get your official XPW merchandise today. Visit XPW's official website at www.xpwrestling.com or call the XPW hotline at 818 818- 779-6475. Do you think you have what it takes to become a pro wrestler? Then check out The Asylum, the official pro wrestling training school of XPW. For more information, call 818-779-6479 or log on to www.xprestling.com. Friday night, May the 26th, XPW returns to the LA Sports Arena as XPW presents D-Day. Sabu will defend the XPW world title and Rob Black reveals his plan to regain control of XPW. Tickets are available now at all Ticketmaster locations. Plus, XPW will be on the road in Bakersfield on Saturday the 27th at 8 p.m. and Sunday the 28th in Ventura at 5 p.m. For tickets and information, call 
See the X-Girls on the web at xpleasures.com. Lizzie Borden, Christy Mist, Jessica Darlin, and more. See the X-Girls like you've never seen them before at www.xpleasures.com. Next week, here on XPW TV, we're going to take a look at the deranged Pogo the Clown, see the debut of Lucha Action, and King of the Deathmatch Supreme will defend his crown against Axel Rotten. But right now, we're going to take you to our main event. And you know, for months now, White Trash, Johnny Webb, has been taking it straight to the holiest of all the wrestlers, the Messiah. And fans do not go anywhere because at the conclusion of the match, I'm going to get a special interview with Rob Black. Ladies and gentlemen, our main event tonight is brought to you by XPleasures.com. Log on today and see the X Girls like you've never seen them before. And Larry Rivera, here we are, LA Sports Arena, our main event tonight for XPW TV. As you hear the music, Jesus Christ Superstar, that can only mean one thing, the Messiah. That's right, Chris Cross. The excitement here at the Sports Arena is reaching a fever level, a fever pitch. If you know what I'm talking about, the people are waiting for the appearance of one of the greatest wrestlers the XPW has produced. The Messiah. I think I know what you're talking about. How you're talking is a different story. And here he is, the Messiah, in the steel cage now. Do you know, Chris Cross, since I've been here in SPW, I've been doing a lot of studying, a lot of watching in tape, watching the footage, studying the wrestlers. And I am coming to the conclusion that the two wrestlers we are going to see tonight are the future start of the SPW. Messiah and Johnny Webb, the white trash. Speaking of white trash, Johnny Webb, you hear the music, and there he is on the extreme screen here at the LA Sports Arena. You know, the feud, the bitter feud between Webb and Messiah may be concluded tonight at the Sport Arena here in Los Angeles. And there he is, white. What's he? It looks like a, a pill of pills of aspirin or prescription. Hey, that them. looks that looks like the muscle relaxer, man. I know about that stuff. What? What that, is that? The muscle relaxer. It looks like aspirin or something. I don't no, know. No, no, you don't know what you're talking about, man. I hear it sings. I you hear it sings. I hear it sings, man. You now I'm seeing things, and I'm seeing two guys with Singapore canes in the confines of a huge steel cage, and it looks like. Referee Daniel Ramirez trying to restore order as we go up to the ring announcer Guido. All I know is this absolute chaos is going to erupt in the middle of this cage. Webb grabbing for the mic of it, trying to get it from Guido. Let's listen to what Webb has to say, man. This thing looks nicer than my house. Fuck up, Guido! You ready? You ready, Jesus? I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you real dead this time! Hey, you got to be careful when you're talking about Yusuf, man. Hey! You, Kramer! Get the hell out of here! Kramer? Whoa, look at Guido! Whoa! Oh, now the Messiah! What the Singapore looks like? It looks like Star Wars here! Both these guys have... Oh, look at that shot right to the head! From Webb onto the Messiah! Right the across! Back. Right across the head! And the back! With the game! And I'm not talking about the Chuga game, bro. Well, I, I, I understand that, Larry. I think I do, but right now, look at this. White trash Johnny Webb to the top of the cage. And for all you fans that think this is a match where you can climb out and it's all over, that is not the case. The winner of this match has to pin the opponent. One, two, three, flat in the middle of the ring. Exactly right, Larry. There is no escape. For either Webb or the Messiah, the only way to win is pin the beaten man. Oh, look at the Messiah! Just thrown right into the cage by Webb. He deep thoughts. And look at all the look at all the all these all these props. Oh, look at all the arsenal in the ring as Webb delivers the baseball slide onto the Messiah. The white trash is really using the trash. I see the trash can to deliver pain. 
to Messiah. He's delivering it all right. White trash Johnny Webb. This is his home turf, it looks like here. This is his kind of match. This is right down his alley. But the Messiah's been with the best of them, Larry. You know, I was standing in the parking lot with some of these fans. I see some of the fans of white trash. They're sitting around there drinking beer, smoking huh? the cigarette. The police come and tell them they have to get out. They almost didn't get in the show. Are you serious? And of course, I'm serious. Wait a minute, wait, let's get back to the match here. Oh, look at that low blow from the Messiah. Oh, trash can shot right to the head with the lid. Messiah, you, you seen Jesus walk around hitting people in the head with a trash can? Absolutely not. I don't know who this guy claiming to be the Messiah. Unbelievable. 2,000 years later, give me a break. Those kicks from Messiah laying in the pain. Oh, wait a minute now. Johnny Webb into the cage. Incredible. Messiah just threw him head first right into the steel cage. Messiah's got a garbage can. A steel garbage can. What does he have in mind now? Once again, the trash, oh! can, trash can being used efficiently in this match. And the winner, traditional history shows the winners of the cage matches are the wrestlers that use the cage as a weapon effectively. And they're using this cage for sure as a weapon. And wait a minute, from pillar to post now. Oh, look at the old Messiah! Rev just barely dug down on the way. Messiah chest first into those turnbuckles. Tremendous impact from Messiah on the chest. And look at this white trash web with the cheap metal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Messiah. Did you watch the language, Larry? What are, you, what are you talking about? What I said, man, the cheap metal across the, the head. Oh, Do you see that, man? Okay, the sheet metal. Is okay, what okay, whatever, man. What are you talking? Oh, look at that. Singapore came to the back now of the Messiah. Messiah looking like he's out. He's all over for these guys, it's looking like. And now Webb's got him set up. DDT into the trash can lid. That was, the impact there was incredible, brother. Unbelievable. I cannot believe it. And right now, Webb gaining more offense in this matchup. The Messiah just barely standing because Webb's helped him plant it right into the center of the ring. Oh. Webb now stomping away to the chest of the Messiah. And now, oh, fist right to the head. No, the Look at this. Action. Oh, wait, he's gouging him now. He's gouging his forehead and his eyes. The action is going back and forth. I am hard to, to guess who's going to come out on top of this match. At the present moment, we have Webb signaling to his fans in the crowd, of which there are a few. Your guess is as good as mine, Larry. Both these guys. And now, wait a minute, white trash. Oh, trash can right to the head of the Messiah. Look at him, just on his knees, teetering. And now Webb picking him up again. Here we go, wait a minute, scooping a slam, it looks like. Oh, plants him right in the center of the ring. Oye, está muy groggy ahora el, el Messiah. He's, Whoa, he's, what are you talking he's about? He's in the middle of the ring. He can't get up. He looks like he's all over now, man. He's all, He's going to the top. He's going to the top of the turnbuckle. He's getting ready. He's oh. Whoa, the Messiah! Play possum, just nailing Johnny Webb, continuing, blow after blow. And now, wait a minute, the Messiah hammering his head into the side of the cage, both sides. This is what I'm talking about, back and forth. And look at how Messiah is using the cage as a weapon. This is where the people take the advantage and win the match. What a hell of a weapon it is. As now the Messiah gaining the offense in this matchup. It's hard to tell where this match is going to go. Messiah with the trash can. Oh. Right to the back of Johnny Webb. Two trash cans in the ring being used. The Messiah now going back over to Webb. Shot right to the head. Two times. Wait, Messiah's going up now. Now they are both on top. This is very dangerous for both wrestlers. Oh, low blow. Oh, the Messiah got caught on the top rope. He's hanging on. He's hanging on. Look at this. Look at this, man. Wow. Drop kick. Drop kick. Webb. And the Messiah goes crashing into the cage and down. You know what, man? This match reminds me when I was a little kid in the park in Cuba, man, riding on the teeter-totter. One guy goes up, the other guy goes down. 
The other guy goes down. One guy goes up. Look at the action, man. Well, stop talking about Peter Totters and talk about this match. The Messiah. This one crashing into the cage again. Head first. What is this? Webb's posing. Pushing his own muscle. Give me a break. Look at that move, man. Almost breaking the neck of the Messiah right there in the middle of the ring. I trash Johnny Webb now with the Messiah again. Across the rope. Messiah back. Ball back body drop. Such a flip into the, into the cage. You see how his head almost got cut. That's how the cat was jacked, man. That's how he saw it. He's here. His ear came up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Look at the blood. Look at the blood all over the face. My trash Johnny Webb cut wide open. I can't tell from here if the Messiah is or not. But white trash Johnny Webb with the offense again now. And Messiah whipped into the ropes. Oh, look at that. The Messiah launching. You know, Messiah has so much energy. So much energy in the ring. He's flying around. Sometimes it's hard for him to control his own direction. And now look at this. Oh, white trap. Oh, he's going for the fish hook. Look at this. He's going for the fish hook. Wait a minute. Johnny Webb, lavate la mano, chico. Yeah, eso. He's putting his mouth, his hands in his mouth. He's working in the car. He's eating the food, the, the tummy burger. And I'm sure that besides the last thing he's got on his mind right now. But wait a minute. Trash can shot to the head of Webb. And now the Messiah. He's going to the top. Tornado DDT. Look at that man. Beautiful move. Beautiful move. Boy. Oh wait. Messiah going for the pin now. Referee down for the gap two. Oh, Johnny Webb just barely got his shoulder up on a two count. And both these guys taking a tremendous amount of punishment. There's that cheap medal again, man. Only this time is Messiah putting it across the coco of white trash Johnny Webb. again. Webb got his shoulder up at a two count once again. White crash, Johnny Webb. I don't know how he's kicking out of these. This looks like it might be the finishing move right here, bro. Look oh, at the God smack. This has got to be it for Webb. I think this is definitely it. All he has to do is cover white trash, Johnny Webb, and this match is history. And look at this now, the Messiah bowing to these people out here in approval. And the Messiah pointing to the top now. Now, I think Messiah wants to recreate the famous 1983 Madison Square Garden encounter between Jimmy Snuka and Don Morocco. Wait a minute, who's this girl here? Shaking the cage! Oh, you know, I mean, that's what hell is she doing? This is a nice girl, nice enough to distract the Messiah. The Messiah trying to shoot away. Wait a minute, where with the single more cane? Wait a minute, the Messiah put them on the cage. Look out, wait a minute, no. What's he doing looking at the girl, man? The cane is the man. Incredible, right through the table from 10 feet in the air. This guy is dead. He's dead, bro. Look at the Messiah. Lay down. Through that table from the top of the steel cage. Who is this girl, man? Who? You know who this girl is? I don't know who the hell she is. I thought you knew who she was, Larry. I want to know. I want to know. And look at this web strutting over to the, to the side. What's he, he's going for the pin now. This is for sure got to be it. Ramirez, two, three, it's over. Webb wins the match. Who is the girl? That's what I want to know. I don't care what she has to do with it. I want to know who the girl is. And look what she caused here. Look at the Messiah, the carnage. From the top of the cage onto a table, onto the concrete floor. Who is that? Who is that? And look at this Web. Web apparently wants something to do with her. I want something to do with her. I want What is going here the Messiah? What are we going to find out? Who is that man? What a match. What a match, brother. Wrestling fans, they say that God loved his creations. Folks like you and me, so much that he sent us his only son. Now, because folks like you and me are all about fried chicken and ass kicking, we let our savior go back home to that big daddy in the sky. We've all been damned to hell ever since. And now the Messiah, as he calls himself, he claims he's here to lay a hand of vengeance upon us all. But white trash don't see it that way. 
The Messiah, he's no savior. He's a lunatic. And I swear to you, I have not yet begun to fight. I've caved his head in with just about anything I could get my hands on. And I've even tested the little angel's ability to fly. <laughs> So now the ball is in your court, Messiah. I'm drunk, crazy, narrow-minded, and spiteful. And I welcome your attempts to seek revenge. Good luck, superstar. See the X-Girls on the web at xpleasures.com. Lizzie Borden, Christy Miss, Jessica Darlin, and more. See the X-Girls like you've never seen them before at www.xpleasures.com. Stay up to date with XPW and order official merchandise. Visit XPW's official website at www.xpwrestling.com. Dot com or call the XPW hotline at 818-779-6475. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here at the XPW offices, and right here is the office of XPW owner Rob Black. I'm gonna get answers and I'm gonna get them now. Cameraman, if you can't follow me, I'm gonna. I'm just going in. Come on. There he is, right there, Rob Black. Here, cameraman, please. Yeah, that. Yeah, it's gonna be. Mr. Black, I need to. I need to ask you. Let me. You know what? Let me. Yeah, we only got good. a few minutes here. You'll be there. Let me go. All right. Who's on the phone? Shh. <laughs> That'll be good. Okay. They'll pick right to sports arena. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay, Mr. Black, listen, I, I came into your office here. We we're, we got XPW TV here. I, we need to know what is going on here in XPW. We saw Lazy and this group come in from New York and fire you, the owner of XPW. Not only that, we saw you backstage. Who was on that cell phone? You were on a cell phone backstage. I, I didn't even believe this. I, I wasn't even expecting this. You're on the phone now here. Who, who are you talking? What's going on? What are you, you got some cooking, Mr. Black, and, and if we can please get some answers, we need to know them now. We only got a few, a few moments here left on XPW TV. Mr. Black. You want answers. Well, yeah, I, if, with all due you respect. You want answers. You want to know what's going on. Please, please. You think you're entitled to these answers? You think you're entitled to know what's going on? Huh? Well, I, I huh? just... You barge into my office like I'm a nobody? Why? Because right, Lazy's in charge? Lazy's the boss? I didn't is say that. Is that what it is? Lazy's the boss. My best friend throws me out. He's the boss. Okay? You you, you, you want answers. I That's think, I think we're all entitled huh? to the answers. We got we got XPW TV here. That's what you want. Huh? You turn your back on me. Well, what's going on? The what? fans turn their back on me. I created something here in L.A. for everybody. What's and that? Just like that. Turn their back on me. What's going on? Okay. We didn't. I didn't turn. Okay. These contracts. You got con these papers. What name is on the contract? Okay. Okay. D Day. May 26, Sports Arena is D Day. What's D Day? That you want to know what it is, don't you? I do. We all want to know. It is going to change the face of XPW forever. Who are you? How is it going to change? What are you? What are you talking Something about? Something so huge.